What's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a sewing progress. I never know what type, uh, I never know what to call these types of videos, but basically I'm sewing this pattern, Mimi G style simplicity S8994, and I'm doing the skirt for my summer brown collection. If you hear some noise in the back, that is my dog. She's she's just chewing along on her new toy. So yeah, that's the noise in the back if you hear it. Um, I'm not gonna make her stop. I would feel really bad. But so this is the third look in my summer brown collection. It is the skirt, which is view B, I believe. Yep, view B, the skirt. It is in this plaid. Uh, I think it's like 100% cotton fabric. I'm putting in a zipper, which I don't know where it is. I think it's in this drawer back here. I'll find it. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the fabric in a second. But the first thing, okay, so this, so, oh my God, she's really getting into that toy. The pattern, um, yeah, you can see there's just like a ton of pattern pieces. And the skirt is like these two pieces, the front and the back, the waistband, which is one long waistband, the um, fry, fry, fly front, and then the back um, flap, that's what it's called, which is 10. So 9 and 10, the waistband, the skirt, and then there's also pockets on this, but... I decided not to do the pockets for now just because I'm doing a print fabric. I didn't want to do the pockets on this because um, I didn't want to take away from the pattern of the flannel and I really like that color flannel. Um, I was thinking about doing it in the fabric um, that I'm doing the other two looks in but I have like a ton of it left over and then I thought it would be too similar to have two skirts in the same fabric. So I'm doing it in a brown tan flannel print fabric. Um, it's actually right there. I've been using my ironing board as a table um, since I had multiple patterns cut out. So let me show you the skirt. Also, just look at this cuteness. So the first thing I'm gonna do is sew in these darts. I already have them marked off. Um, this goes by 12 to 14. My size is a 12 and I did that dart. So I did the two dart heads and the tail. I don't know if that's the professional name, but that's what I call them. This is the back pattern piece. Here's the front and I marked those as well. And then over here I have the fly and it has interfacing on it. I already pressed that and the um, waistband has interfacing on it. I already pressed that. And then here is the um, flap, under flap. And it doesn't have any interfacing or anything. It's just a normal pattern piece. So I'm gonna do the darts and then I'll catch up with you. darts in here's the back piece this is what it looks like on the inside right here and right here are the darts and then on the outside they're right there so I really like oh and by the way this is the fabric that I'm using if you haven't picked up on that um I really like how whenever you use like print fabrics especially I feel like plaid um the darts kind of hide better if you know what I mean like I feel like on the brown fabric for the other two looks you could just like see the dart like your eye just went straight to it whereas prints you can't as much so then the front pieces here is the inside of the dart and the outside and it basically looks like that on the other piece too so the next step is to sew the front piece. 
so there's this hole right here on the pattern and that's where um, you need to put in a pin on both sides of the front piece and then sew it up to that pin um, and it will show later of why you needed to do that when you go to put the zipper in so I'm assuming that's what's next I haven't read the instructions but so you put a pin right here on both sides of the fabric and I've already done this part so I can show you what I mean so these are this is the both sides of the skirt I mean both sides of the front of the skirt um, right sides together you put a pin up to here and then you sew it straight to there so then if this this is the top of the skirt it will be like that um so then you go on to put the fly and underfly and zipper and this just kind of like reinforces the skirt um so that way when you go to put the zipper in you'll see i'll show you as i go along it was something with the zipper so I skipped a step. I went ahead and did this. This is this piece. Um, so you fold it like that. Um, wrong sides together, right sides out. And then you just um, fix the ends because it's going in like this. Like the top will go in the waistband, but these will um, stay in your pattern. So I went ahead and surged this I need to cut the thread still um so yeah next is kind of like this whole attaching the front fly deal and I found the zipper this is what it looks like a seven inch all-purpose zipper I believe it's seven inch pretty sure it's seven inch um and so basically I'm going to attach the front fly this pattern piece nine to the front of the skirt um, at one side, um, and then you go and put the zipper on, and then you go and attach the, um, underfly, that's what that's called, the underfly, and then you kind of have this zipper situation done. So let me do that, and I'll catch up and try to explain it a little bit better after I did it. Hopefully this is a better visual for you. Let me grab this pattern piece. So I went ahead, before I attached it, I surged this right here because this is attaching to the garment and this is staying on the inside. And then you attach it to the right side. So you attach it like that. This is the front of the skirt. And so you can see, I'm gonna go like this here's the two fronts this is attached and then I went ahead and pinned my zipper down so I'm going to sew that then eventually this will be turned like that um and you'll have the zipper on the inside which will need to be attached eventually to this side and this will be like that hopefully that made better sense than the last time I explained it let me do that and I will show you front fly zipper is in thank god that is definitely my least favorite part but i think i have perfected it let me show you so i here's the front fly bam so let's break this down in terms of parts here is the um so remember we sewed this to this, we turned it under. When we turned it under, it looked like this. Then you sew one side of the zipper to the other side of the skirt, um, like that. Then you take the underfly and sew it to the back. Then you zip them um, and it looks so this is what like the inside looks like here's the underfly and then the fly and the fly is sewn down that's the next step you um okay so it's harder to see with this thread but there's a sleet <laughs> there's a top stitching line right here here let me hold it maybe like this there's a top stitching line 
right here that makes up the front fly. And that's pretty much the front fly. I'm really excited about this, mainly because of how invisible the zipper is. Um, this still needs to be pressed, and once it's pressed, it will be even more invisible. So now, I went ahead and surged the bottom of the front and the bottom of the back. And then I'm gonna attach um, with right sides together of the front and back piece right sides together like so and then I'm going to sew down the side seams um, so this side and then this side then after that all will be left is attaching the waistband the button on the waistband and the hem so I'm going to go ahead and for today I'm going to sew both side seams down I'm going to search the side seam and then I'm going to hem it. Well, that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm going to do those couple of adjustments or finishes or whatever on this. And then the only thing that will be left is putting on the waistband and putting on the button. Um, let me know if you'll like these types of videos. Um, I will do a more in-depth video on each um, look in the brown collection. So this is the look three. So we're almost done. The other two looks are just chilling over there, waiting for a couple of seams and odds and ends to be finished. Let me know if y'all like these types of videos. Other than that, I will talk to you later.